I stand by the chorus's decision. They are our guide. Must be closing in on the signal. This easy. If I can reach its core, I should get enough data to override some new machines.
pockets were built for leaving. And he gave no doubt. Find a cauldron to learn how to override machines. Be able to hack this open. Now turning back, what's on inside? Just look like they'll hold up.
It is. Table seems sturdy enough. Stash this away for later. be able to get across if I hack that node near the gap.
more machines. I gotta find a way to the other side. Catch a ride on those to get across. the shield. I should be able to climb these vents if I time it right. Everything's being moved. 
to the back of this corridor. That has to be the core. I should be able to climb these vents if I time them right. They close now. Great.
this from my stash later. Jumping onto that arm should be easy enough.
Those metal carriers can get me closer to the core. But how do I reach them? Try getting to that arm below. Hitch right on those middle carriers. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. gonna have to get off this thing soon.
I've never seen machines stored like that. I guess it's deactivated for now. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. those overrides without a fight. Machines out in the wild?
work well in armor. to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? I've got your back there. when I need it. Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. 
You're the slayer of Renma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the Lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, oh, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But- You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry, he was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. Now the fun starts. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came.
This is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? I'll find this in my stash later. A Karja weapon. The blade's rusted. Must have been from the battle years ago. fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Hmm. Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Taru. What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's ask him. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here. Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison or a Karja graveyard depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. This maybe. Will be my stash when I need it. Bridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. He hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush, just like old times.
gotta say. Feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave-in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? <laughs> Talana, I think I found something. In the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. I still need some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now.
to my stash. Light is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere.
must have seen the sweat. There's Varl and Zo. Act rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Otaru could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regal as champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakh. They live to fight as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. 
The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Deers, which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrificed too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru. And normally I wouldn't question them. But they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. I'm here, as promised, and singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl, but I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers at the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... the fuss was already there. 
Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above where the chorus has gathered. That means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so will. Zoe and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. 
We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy. Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look normal. We've seen these machines before. Two killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend this. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? Right. Um, yeah.
can get it from our stash. More machines! These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just me and the fan and the same This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. to the cordon. Cleared out the machine. Let's go. Back right behind you. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? You better be ready for anything. Stuff 
for the stash. We shouldn't linger here. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of... Aloy! Are you alright? We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Up here! I'll put these in my pack. door. <sighs> to understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. been fighting they're different more dangerous that means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door and it wants us dead follow my lead and be ready for anything to find the core of this place. Aloy, going somewhere? Prepared too. And the spirit you're after is in here. In the river? 
Places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. to the right spot. So close. That works. That did something. Sight. It's how Aloy saw what Aloy. What's that thing beyond the Another floor panel. It's massive. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. More pillars. Might be a way across if I can get them into the right position. Fit the crate through that opening. on the pillars should be exposed now. <sighs> Looks like there are only 
two pillars this time. panel nearby to activate them. are all over that note. But maybe I can override it. <laughs> the cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Get up to the node. Damn. How do I get back up there? Are you okay down there? Yeah.
you too. Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. How to get to that node on the other side? Okay, there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I glide. There's still no sign of fire. over facilities before to build deadly machines. 
But it wasn't always hostile. It used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. More of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Be ready. Got your back. override nearby to shut it down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? Oh, my God. 
we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. Overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? I can get it for my stash later. I should probably get those overrides before moving on. They might come in handy. Press on then. Greetings, graduates of Cradle Nine. Welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us.
Okay. I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Locked. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Those cables in the center for it looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising. I can find a way up there. Looks like this might be where data is stored, but. I don't see a way to access the system. The nerve is shutting me out. Feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, 
I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. Then we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? to glide to that ledge. rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Aha. Another shaft. Gotta find a way to plug into this place. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. can live again but only if you give her the chance I can't reboot her without you will I cease I think you'll disappear into her become part of her like you used to be is it the cease Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes.
So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. Uh, so no fake this time? No, this time she's real. Borl, so this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few, to start with. You two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Uh, 
Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aluvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... Strangers, who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um... A, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy.
The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so what's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... They were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes, that is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware, their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva, they need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, .8 
of my intended processing capacity, Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is... really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light-years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. 
So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Farzina's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, 
gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakt territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major Old World settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? 
Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zo are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Sure? Yes, I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clanlands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else.
have to use purge water ammo to my advantage. all these machines for. I should lie low, find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. Knock settlement. This looks like a spear stuck in the sand. Yep. <laughs> 
Doesn't look like I can climb this guy, at least for now.
It looks like the rebels have a camp in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up to. They've got riders patrolling the area. Better be careful. Spotted. Who are you? I found her. You think this is her? You think all that? Taking my shot. Next idea.
Tanakh, hear me. I was told a soldier from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next fool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regala is not working alone. These sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines. Looks like they were trying to stock up on Blaze. Enough to blow up something big. The map of the Daunt. Tracking movement in and out of barren light. With emphasis on the fort's weak points. We're gonna blow up barren light. Make a hole big enough to fit an entire army. The Regala plans on invading the Sunder. At least when she gets an army big enough to do it. So I have to get rid of that place. Help! Anyone! <laughs> I need to blow up that blaze, for Baron Light's sake. Hopefully the rebels will abandon this place now. I could deal with the rest of them now, or head out. Either way, my job is done here. I should keep an eye out for more of these rebel camps. Stop them from stirring up trouble. I need to find out more about these sons of Prometheus. Stop them from helping the rebels slaughter their own people. Not to mention the Karja.
be closing in on the signal. What, me? Catch my breath here.
some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. Alright, how to get up there. I have to jump onto that drone to get it down. was severed. Guess I'll just hold on to it for now. The signal's coming from up there. I can't see a way to climb. There's no way to reach it right now. Anything get by. We will not lose. Hmm! <laughs> 
can grab this from my stash later. We can't let them defile our home. Remember what you fight for. We can't let them in my smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utaru who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I send my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, 
and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people, but you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave, head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are... Tricky to collect. The wide maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakhs will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done.
Good luck in the fields today. Unless you wish to do What is it, stranger? Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. This tastes as good as it looks. I need to find a way up there. up here. There might be some underwater. Maybe they can lead me someplace. <laughs> I should take a seat pouch to keep. Seems to me a little too much on it. Stash later.
time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole catcher to get to the They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. something other than frost.
I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? When this is over, I'll make sure we find his seeds and plant them in the grove. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Be on your guard out there, Outlander.
Oh, fill up while I can. 